Welcome back. The main event tonight, Governor Mike Pence, who will be accepting his party's nomination for vice president later this evening. I want to get thoughts from Trump supporter and former CEO of McDonald's, Ed Renzi, joining me right now. Ed, good to see you. Thanks so much for good joining us. Good to see us. you. So what do you think Mike Pence needs to say to resonate with voters? Look, a lot of people are just understanding who he is, meeting him for the first time. How is he going to really get voters to believe in the ticket? Well, in Donald Trump, we have an exciting, charismatic leader that's going to be barging his way through being a great president. And Pence is a rock-solid, thoughtful man. And he's just got to show his managerial leadership. And he's going to balance Trump beautifully. Yeah, it's interesting because you've got, you know, Trump, who's had a business headquartered in New York and, you know, is outgoing, obviously, to say the least. And Pence is a Midwesterner, comes from Indiana. Do you think he's going to be able to bring some swing states? Is he going to bring the Rust Belt? Well, I grew up in Ohio, and I live in Illinois, and Indiana's kind of sandwiched in between. He's done a fabulous job there. He's brought jobs back there. The people are excited. Recently in Indiana, you, just, you could just see in Indianapolis the vibrancy of the city. He's going to do a great job. So you think he'll be able to motivate the, the party. Let me ask you as a business person, do you think business is with Trump? Largely. Largely. Uh, and quietly. Yeah. Because they are desperate for tax reduction. Because uh, we just got to reinvest in our, our businesses. And he's just not, not doing it with Obama. And I think Trump's going to do it because he understands the problems we got. Yeah, this is why I want to talk to you about this. Because during your tenure at McDonald's, you experienced phenomenal growth. You, what is the vision for the country to get that kind of growth? I mean, how do we break out of this one and a half, two percent growth story that has been the case for seven years? Get government out of the way. Small businesses and businesses at large are being absolutely crucified with all the regulation. The tax structure is pulling dollars that could be used for reinvestment. The thing about McDonald's, the way we grow so fast is we had the resources to do it. Just that simple. So, you know, rollback regulation is part of Trump's platform. It's part of the Republican platform, obviously. Taxation, another major theme. You think he's going to implement these things in year one? Should he become president? I, I, if I were he, I'd be as aggressive as I could possibly be early. Now, the Congress, you know, the House and the sure. Senate are going to be an obstacle. But he ought to do what Obama did, start writing some executive orders and make it happen. Well, Obama certainly did that a lot. <laughs> now, the theme tonight is Make America First Again. What does that mean to you? It means prosperous, happy people. Right now, we've got a society that's scared, a lot of angst. They're worried, and a lot of them are very angry. We need to stop that. We need to rally behind Trump and get the job done and grow this country. Yeah, I guess, you know, you have to believe this convention is doing that a bit, rallying the party, bringing people together. We're also going to hear from Ted Cruz later tonight. So his words will also be central in sure. terms of uniting the party. What do you want to hear from Ted Cruz in that regard? Two different managers. You've got a career charismatic manager in Trump, and you've got a very uh, solid uh, conservative guy that's a firebrand for conservative behavior. You know, Ted's got to get some maturity. I think he's going to be a great president in four or eight years. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'd love to have him president someday. Yeah. He's got what we need. Well, look, he said that he will run again, um, so, so we'll see about that. But you wonder if he's going to work with Trump at this moment in time to help unite the party. You have to believe so since he is speaking tonight. Well, Ted Cruz is no dummy. Yeah. If he wants to win in the future, he's got to get all the people at this convention convinced he's the guy. Yeah. And you become the guy by supporting the team. Mm. Team leader is Trump. Get behind him. Let's go. My governor, Kasich, embarrasses me. He needs to be here. He's rude. It's too bad that Governor Kasich is not here. This is his state. The convention is a huge deal for the state. Uh, it's... It's a surprise to me. Why doesn't he want to support Cleveland? Why doesn't he want to support his own delegation? Why He can swallow that bile. It's okay. Yeah. You don't always win. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you don't get with the program. Right. Okay, so Eric Trump is going to speak tonight, and we also have, of course, Marco Rubio speaking tonight. Any thoughts on Marco Rubio and, and, and what you want to hear there? And Eric Trump, another window into Trump's uh, personal life, his family. Well, I, I don't know what more you could say than what we've already heard. Obviously, Donald Trump is a very thoughtful, kind father, and he's raised his kids well. 
You know, I, I, I think I'm inspired by all the speakers. There's a, a positive energy here, and everybody's a little bit better because they got a little different gift. And I'm really looking forward to the speeches tonight. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels real energy in the room. It does. It, really uh, does. it, it feels good. Real quick on business today. Do you, do you feel that things are changing, getting better, or no? H how would you characterize business today? Hey, we're leading from behind in this country, right. and our businesses are they're working hard. Man, they're making their earnings, but one of the ways they're getting earnings is they're getting rid of people. They're not investing in the future. They're doing everything they can. You one just one little thing. The way we treat banks, it checks at banks. It's all electronic now. How many tellers did we get rid of through automation? That's the smallest kind of thing in the world, but it is killing industry. Businessmen are can't stop technology though, right? You Ed? Cannot. But you can also use people to build technology further. And that's what we need to do. We um, need to educate our population. We will leave it there. Ed, great to talk with you as always. Thank Happy you so much. Happy to be here. Ed Renzi there.